Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. I did manage to work out how to save at the end of the last episode, but here we are again. We are on a quest to find a child some beetles to get the part we need to make our bike. But let's talk to this man over here. I don't know. Is he a man or is he a robot? I think it's a man. Umar is a man of few words and he's nothing if not consistent. Oh. <laughs> Well, fancy that, he doesn't want to speak to us. We do have markers on our map here. The bucket. Um. Am I supposed to do something with this bucket? Yeah, well, no, let's just throw it away, it'll be fine. I'm sure there's some sort of side quest about watering sheep. Was it, are they sheep? They don't really look like sheep, but we're going to call them sheep. Because otherwise, I have no idea what they are, and that's just a terrifying idea. Uh, if I come up here, this is where the villagers... Hello, villagers. Right. Any of you know how to catch beetles? I think the quest I... Oh, wait, yeah. It just span around, so... This, uh... This campfire is the, uh... Location. Do you, uh, lady, do you know how to catch beetles? I could ask about catching beetles for that awful little Sima. Yes. Do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Daddy greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. Uh, What was your gliding like? I asked Jaddy about her gliding. Tell you what, I'll tell you when you get back. Yeah, we've read this before. Crystal farmers, right. There is one small problem. I don't actually know where the beetles are, so let's go and see if we can find them. I probably should bring my bike, shouldn't I? Oh, that's lucky. It's just over here. Even though it's it's this bike is going to get me killed, I know it is. It is scarily dangerously look dangerously looking, yes, dangerously looking. Alright, let's go. And it makes weird putt putt noises, I don't like it. Put put put. We need three beetles. How hard can this be? It does require stealth, I believe. Hmm. Looks like a dead end. And this way. I still, I adore the art style of this game, the, the Mobius art style, or Mo Modius? Oh no, I haven't said it out loud. No, 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 that's not good. Oh dear, hang on. Yeah, it's fine. Ah, here. This looks promising. What, is it on top of the rocks? Okay. Is that the dam? That's the dam, isn't it? I do need to go there in order to, uh... find what I'm looking for. What's this? I feel like this game is definitely going to be one of those what is this moments. There's going to be a lot of this. But what is that? Oh, it's one of those, like, squiggy things. I also forgot that I could climb, like, uh, Legend of Zelda. Whoops. Hello! A chum egg. Get in my backpack. I don't even have a backpack. Get in my pockets. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Yes. Um. Alright, from here. I had this, like, this big thing where I was like, oh, I'm going to have to glide from here to here to here to test me how to use my gliding abilities. But now I'm starting to realize I could probably just climb it. But I've set myself up this now, so... We're gonna glide. The music is so goddamn good in this game. It fits it perfectly. Well, I'm looking for beetles. Oh, actually, no, I'm looking for seeds. Where the hell am I? Oh, hello. 
What's this? It was a pot, and it had 20 of whatever that is in it. I assume that's a currency. There's a beetle. Okay, that noise is uh, not pleasant. Right, seeds. What do what these seeds look like? One of these things? Gotcha! Collect an elephant beetle. Hang on, we need to get another seed. I wonder if there's an easy way of knocking those down. Oh god, these noises. Oh, well, he went to the. Okay, I thought I, I thought he ate it. I can kick it like a football. Um, but he didn't. It just kind of stayed there. Hey, you guys, do you wanna you wanna eat something? There we go. We'll take one for good measure. We'll have a pet beetle. We'll name him Barry. Barry the beetle. Because there is no such thing as a bad name for a pet, right? That's how that works. Yeah, I think I, now I just have to. Fine. Oh, hello, chum. I have to find out where that damn kid is. I've got no idea. Did I just assume he's back at the... Or she, or they, are back at the... Condenser place? Because they ran off. Definitely don't have a marker on my old map anymore. We could check out up there while we're here. I think that's a good idea. Let's go check out the uh, the water dam thing. I mean, I say water dam. But I will say that this place is a very big desert. And I doubt at any point there was water here. So I don't actually know what it is. I guess it could have been a very, very, very old dam. Oh dear, me bike doesn't like going up here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's explore. I think I'm going to leave the bike outside. Okay, so there's like a boat. So maybe, maybe there was an ocean here at one point. But... What really confuses me is there's like a boat here, which looks kind of old tech. I was going to say it's made out of wood, but when I walked on it, it sounds... Sounds metal, so it's not as old as I thought it was. But, I suppose it could be a spaceship. This over here looks decidedly industrial. God knows. I'm just going to climb up. When in doubt, go up. Unless you're being chased by a serial killer or something. In which case, then don't go up because you'll get trapped on the roof. Oh, hello. Plenty more of that stuff. Ooh, a control panel. I'm sure this won't flood the village. Okay, we've done something. <laughs> I don't think I have enough glide power to get over there, though. I guess we could maybe climb. A very large climb. Can we get onto this route? And indeed. Can we glide from up here over to there? Who knows? Let's find out. Leap! Perfect. Oh, hello. What is this? It's like it's another part of that crash ship, I think. Is it a different part of the same ship or is it a different ship? Either way, color me intrigued. 
This is much better than catching beetles. I'm going to assume this is a power cell that goes inside of this power thing. Yes. Opens those doors. There's some more crashed, like, ships up there, like the wooden-ish ones. Other than this fancy high-tech stuff. Anybody home? I mean, I severely doubt anyone's here, but... Who knows? Oh! Atomic control panel! That's what I need. Needed. Wonderful. Okay, that was... Relatively painless, considerably less painful than the uh, collecting beetles. I don't seem to be able to get out that way. I'm going to go... I'm going to go check out what's down here. Hey, what's that on that rock? You see that as well? There's like a little squiggle on the front of that rock. It's going to be a plant, isn't it? It's going to be a plant, and I'm going to be upset because I thought it was some sort of collectible. It's a particularly brown floating bush. Okay, well, you know. You can't have everything, can you? And I don't think I can summon my bike to me like I could a horse, so... Looks like we're going on a walk. <laughs> Luckily, I don't think there's survival meters in this game. Oh, I've said that. They'll probably mysteriously pop up at some point. Right, up you go. Oh, I don't think I've got enough stamina. Ah, so close. So close. Yet so far. Yet so far. God damn it. Try that again. There we go. Yeah, what's up here? We have stuff up here. I know exploration is rewarded, but I'm not entirely sure on, on like, by how much. Like, what are the things I'm going to find here other than, uh oh, collectibles maybe? Well, that one, oh, that one, okay. Luckily, gliding doesn't use any stamina. He's up here. Am I being followed by something? I can hear something go. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think it's the birds. It's night time now. The things are getting all grey again. Oh. Hey, we found a charm. It was worth it. One day we'll find out what we do with all these eggs. Hey, what the hell is that over there? That looks like a shrine of some description. Color me intrigued. The last shrine we found allowed us to glide. Great hell. What are you? Oh, are you just an offering shrine? Oh, okay, that's not quite as exciting, but it is free stuff. Another 20 of whatever that stuff is. Look at the design of this thing, it's so cool. I'm assuming they're candles. I'm also assuming that in the daytime this is all colourful and lovely. Right, can I get out of here? I guess I'm going to have to go back through the... Uh... Oh, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. I'm sure we have to go back through the dam. Let us just go back the way we came. Okay, so we're back at the dam. Maybe we can just climb up here. And just go straight out somehow. That seems too easy, but, you know, sometimes the easy option is the best option. There you go. You can just climb straight back out again. I was overcomplicating it. But we did find a charm, and we did find some more money. I do like money. We still haven't found that kid, though. I think I can take one of the markers off my map now. Oh, I think I've automatically knocked it off. Okay. Right, well, let's go to the other one. Which is over there, I believe? It's trying to crash. Oh, there's another boat. Do you know my comment about this not being an ocean at some point earlier? I take it all back. This place was obviously a massive ocean. Because there's just boats everywhere. How these boats survived enough generations I guess if the temperature is dry enough it keeps the wood dry doesn't it stops it from rotting ok 
Okay. Well, this looks like a climbing puzzle. Oh. Let's have a look, see, shall we? I would very much like to get my bike this episode. That's a very big climb, but I reckon we can make it. Just. Oh, God. Just. Yeah, we can... We can Ah, oh, that way. I wonder if that's some sort of shortcut. Doesn't look like it. Let's, let's go. Let's go the proper way. Either way, or what I assume is the proper way. All right, we gotta leap the vines to kind of give me an indication of where I should be climbing. It seems so weird to be playing a game like this without any kind of combat in it. It's it's weirdly refreshing on one hand. And a bit strange on the other. I was reading a... Uh, I think it was a post. It was like an article. And how the, the developers said that they wanted to make a game that you could play any way you wanted. So like, if you just wanted to walk around and look at stuff, you weren't going inst to get insta-killed by walking into the wrong area sort of thing. I thought it was quite nice. In God's net wow, look at this. Look at that night sky. Oof. Hello, I'm here for ancient treasure. Uh they say it's to build a bike, but I just want to get rich. No? Okay. Seeing if there was any treasure on top, that was all. This looks promising. It's still glowing. That's probably not a good sign, right? Oh, what's this? Oh, an atomic power supply. Oh, so I still need the atomic calibrator. Didn't I pick up the atomic calibrator? What the hell did I pick up? Oh, no, I picked up the atomic control panel. Well, you know... More fool me, I suppose. So we need to find that little, that little crap. I don't know what they are. Are they the chums? Actually don't know what they are. Is there a list of... Hmm. Ah, maybe it helps if you set the uh, quest you have. Oh, she likes to play in the cave underneath the camp. Maybe if you set the quest you want to follow as you're active you tend to find out where you need to go rookie error i know right, let's go get this let's go get my bike ride under town get the last piece and then maybe we'll get our big bike the fall damage oh wow you actually fall into like a a skydiving position if you're falling far enough that's cool okay cave under town I wonder if I can drive my bike in there. No, 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 that's fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm... Hey, kid, I got you, you goddamn beetles. There you go, Tommy Calibrator. I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Saima the beetles, but rather than gloat, she hands me the Calibrator and begins to cry. What have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving and you'll never come back. Yeah, I'll be fine. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. Yara never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were a friend. She might visit again someday. I tell Saima that Yara will likely visit one day, just as I will if ever I should choose another clan. But how will you find us? We'll have moved a million times by then. I offer that I will always find the Ibexi, no matter what. Please don't go. I tell Saima not to worry, that I will be back sooner than she knows, and I'm sure she pouts behind the mask. And I add that if I am not back sooner than she knows, then she will be ready for her gliding. By then, she can come bother me herself. Promise? I say yes. Good. Then I suppose I can come see you off. I thank her and say goodbye for now. There we go, deliver the parts to Caesar. And I can finally get rid of this crappy bike. 
Yeah, deliver the parts to Caesar. I love the way you get the compass out in your hand when you uh, look at it. I think that's a nice little touch. Little touches like that make me like games. I like attention to detail. Immersive elements. Uh, where are you, my friend? Oh, wait. Is Caesar? Wait, who's, wait, who's Caesar? Is the person up there who's Caesar? Hang on. I've lost track of who's who. It's it, uh, excuse me. It, God damn it! I'm having a oh my god! I'm having a fight with the staircase. Excuse me, excuse me. I must. There we go. I wonder if that weird warbling noise we hear is the sound of a chum. Are you Caesar? I return to Caesar with the parts, and it's as she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again, once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? Uh, yes. Then let us head to the workshop. Here we go, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Tizo relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm, beauty, that one only truly appreciates when Cizo's in his inner element. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquired, they fit together, not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Assemble the machine. Uh, let's start with the power grid. That seems important. Oh. Gliding wings. Uh, let's, I don't know what this is, but it seems important. Aw. Oh, gliding bike front. And then the final part here. Bike booster? Ooh. And then we press the big magic button and it assembles the bike. Got an achievement for building my hoverbike. to see though. Listen. Izo tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All at once, I know the hoverbike's name. Simoon. I say it in a whisper to let Cizo know. Simoon, Simoon, well done, Sable. What a name is that? I ask Cizo what sort of name it is, and if it speaks to any particular clan or culture. If it does, then I do not know it. Perhaps you'll find out on your journey. Cizo shrugs, mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't, but I hardly think it matters. You are bonded, all the same. I tell Simoon that I am eager to know her better, and Cizo looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Cizo is prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that it was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simoon, to care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists on your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. 
It's a machinist badge. You'll meet plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them your worth and they'll give you more badges. I thank Cizo twice for good measure and give a bow. I am ready. Okay, well, can I take my bike now? I guess not. we got to go and do the ceremony. Wait, even though it seems to think that that is my bike, right? Oh no, my bike's just parked behind the shed. Let's go speak to Jaddy and continue the main quest here. I'm excited to try out my new bike, so we're going to keep going. It's so colourful. When the sun comes out, this game is wonderfully colourful. Hello, Jaddy. Sable, that cartographer landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him. See if you can't get a map. I nod and begin to go, but Jaddy gestures me back and puts something in my hand. It's some money to get you going. Oof, money. On your journey, use it most wisely, and then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I thank Jaddy effusively and head out on my way. Purveyor and surveyor? You'd have thought I wouldn't be able to not see a giant balloon. Is it you? No. Oh, he's up there. Let's go see what the map... Maybe it puts markers on my map, which would be nice, because having direction is always lovely. Hello there, I need a map. Oh, my camera's gone up. Hello there, I need a map. Who are you? Elaria. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. <laughs> wow, your hat is... I imagine that would get very annoying after a while. I approach the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. I saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? Bigger than I thought. I tried to explain that when I first saw the balloon, I thought it was very small and somewhat far away, but now I see it's quite large and was very far away. I fumble through the explanation, though, and the cartographer just nods without saying anything. I nod back. Well, good to meet you, and oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Uh, yes, I would love a map. I tell the cartographer I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. 50 cuts, all right. Perfect, let's trade then. A map of Iwa sold by members of the Cartography Guild. Oh, I seem to have nothing left for you. I thank Jordan for the Iwa map and all its vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding, Sable. I still remember mine. I ask how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Sodic Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. So is my map now somehow... Oh, okay, I actually have a map now. And I can see points of interest on it in terms of, like... I can actually see details. Yeah, I think they were chums. Okay, so if each one of these is a new map... Bloody hell. This, uh, this game is pretty big. Not, uh, not unsurmountingly big, which I think is quite nice. I reckon there's going to be a lot of detail in here. Okay, well, we got the got the map. Now what? Too many to do my gliding. Hey, buddy. He really likes balloons. I return to Jaddy with a new likeness, and it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you've got there? Yes, Cizo gave it to me. I tell Jaddy that Cizo gave me the badge. 
Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give a bow of thanks. Well, Sable, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mask caster in no time. I tried to think about going to the mask caster, but it seems impossibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there, and once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But don't feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be asked to choose one. How will I choose? You'll have to feel it out. But when you know, you'll know. Now, the tone of her now puts the butterflies back in my stomach. With all of this done, there is only one thing left. It's time then, isn't it? Time to walk through the face door at the temple at Rohana. There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to Jaddy here. Depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry and hope. And though I find myself unable to speak any of it in words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, I made you these. They are dyed with the traditional Ibexi maroon, and I hope provide you great comfort out in the desert. When you leave today, you will no longer be Sable, clan child of Ibexi. You will simply be Sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin, and I am ready. What was that about clothes? Oh yeah, we get a cape! I mean, the trousers are kind of whatever, but... The cape! No, oh, yeah, it's got a, it's a cape! Yes. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I think we're going over there. Hmm. What an interesting climb. Oh dear. I buggered it up. There we go. I think we're at the entrance. Let's see if anything's changed in here. Oh. Well, that's normal. It was a door. Oh, okay. That's... That's not creepy at all, is it? Hello. Are you like some giant AI or something? I've, I've played enough games like this. To be worried when I see a giant floating person. Right then. Look at those platforms. Where am I trying to get to? Obviously we can glide, which is... Helpful. I guess this is the trial, huh? Uh. Uh. Yeah, I didn't expect. I didn't expect to go into the uh, into the wall there. Not gonna lie. Oh dear. Hang on. Hang on. We're, we're emergency changing course. Here we go. If I climb up here. I think I gotta hit both those buttons. That's, that's the uh, the vibe I'm getting right now. So we go up here. God, that's cool looking. I I don't know what it is, but the giant statue definitely cool. Oh, we're putting a mask on the lady. Okay, makes sense, I suppose. Maybe I shouldn't climb on the actual, you know, religious artifact lady, but you know, I can't help myself. Is there a way up on this side? There, look, there's some stairs right there, but isn't that where we started?
Maybe I can make it work. If not, there's a ladder that we can climb that'll put us on the upper platform up there we can use. Let's just use the ladder. It's right here. <laughs> It's a very big temple. Jesus. It's huge. Oh, this is the starting area. Okay. I see another ladder then. I swear I saw another ladder that went higher again. Guess not. But I do feel like this is the way to go. A little bit more sketchy than I anticipated. Oof. Okay, the button's right there. So if I jump over here, or just use the path, because, you know... One of those options is safer than the other. And here we are. Not sure if I should be worried about the archer. Probably not. Many people have done this before. There's a third button. I was like, hmm, I expected something to happen there, but no, there's a third button. I just didn't see it rise. Okay, hang on. Up we go. It looks interesting. How are we going to get up here? Oh, like this. Never mind, there's a big wooden plank we can climb. Climbing skills of Sable is overly insane. Like, the parkouring of this character is just next level. There we go. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's freaky. That's pretty, that's pretty freaky. I don't know why, but I expected the mask to change in some way after that, but it didn't. Are you guys all going to start looking at me? Because that's going to freak me out. No? Okay. This is the mask, I guess. The Bexy mask. Can I put it on? Yeah! Made of bone. The ones particular to the Abexi are made from the skull of a mountain goat. There we go, look at us, we got horns now. And I think now we uh, return to camp. And I have achieved what I wanted to achieve in this episode. I don't remember where the exit is. It's louder, isn't it? <laughs> God damn it. Away we go. Painless. Simply painless. Yeah, I, believe, I think we started in this room, didn't we? I guess I never turned around to see the giant face on the wall. And we press this button to open the door. I'd have laughed so much if that closed in my face then. I mean, it would have been upsetting, but I would have laughed. Back to camp we go! And we're back at the camp. Oh, 
logging in. Hello, Sable. Jaddy's voice echoes strangely through the machine, yet still it warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. By the time you hear this, we will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must begin alone. There is a certain nuance lost in transmission, and for that I am grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice and not run weepingly into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, and so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go see Yatari. They're the machinist at Burnt Oak Station, and among Cizo's closest friends. Yatari is a good contact to have on one's gliding, and a fine way to get another machinist badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, I'll send another message once we've returned to Iwa, so keep an eye on the post boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath, and I forget that things as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. I call out and my bike comes to me! Oh my god! Hello! Oh, this thing's considerably better. Let's ride! Well, this seems like a really good place for me to end the episode. Uh, I think we're basically, we're in the game a proper now. Which, you know, is good and we'll be doing some exploring in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this very much. Excuse me, I'm just going to be flying my bike around just haphazardly. I can't help it. It's really quite fun. Uh, this thing doesn't actually hit the ground every time you go anywhere. But uh, yes, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And I hope you enjoyed this very much. And as always, I'll see you next time. Go through the hoop. <laughs>